Hi there, my name is Morgan Hatt and you are watching a BC Missions object lesson video. In today's lesson, we're going to do one of my all-time favorite things, which is go hiking. But here's the catch. I'm taking a friend out with me who has no idea what today's lesson is actually about. So stick around because later in this video, Joel is going to bring to life the truth of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. All right, before we head out to the mountain and meet up with Joel, let's take a look at the Bible so that we're prepared for today's lesson. Today's lesson comes from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Let's go ahead and read it. Wherefore, seeing we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Okay. For two verses, there were a lot of words there. So we're gonna go back and try to simplify it a little bit. The first thing you have to realize about this passage, these two verses, is that they're a word picture. That means the Bible gives us a physical example to explain a much, much larger biblical idea. So for here, the Bible gives us a race and compares it to living the Christian life. And what's nice is here, the Bible gives us two helpful hints so that we can run that race better. It tells us to lay aside two different things. Let's take a look at it. It says to lay aside each weight and the sin, which does so easily beset us. Now the word beset us, it really just means to hold us back or to knock us off course. So sin, that makes sense for a Christian, right? We're not supposed to lie, steal, cheat, have bad attitudes, or have pride in our life, anger, anything like that. We know as Christians that sin isn't good for us. We're supposed to represent Christ. So laying aside sin, getting rid of sin, that makes sense, right? But what's that first one it's talking about? It says to lay aside every weight. Well, if a weight isn't sin, what else can keep us from running the Christian life the best we know how? I'll tell you one thing, the weight it's talking about there is not this kind of weight. The Bible isn't saying that we as Christians need to lose 10 or 15 pounds although maybe some of them do. This isn't the way it's talking about at all. So what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna go out and meet Joel at the mountain. And we're gonna give you a crystal clear picture of what the Bible's talking about when it says to lay aside each and every way. Stick around, let's go meet Joel. Hey Joel, thanks for coming. Yep. All right, I got a backpack for you. Okay. I can get you put this in and we can go ahead and get started up the mountain if that's okay. Sounds good. Alrighty, feel good? Yes. Everything so. tight? Okay, yep. let's go. Hi, we finally made it to the top of the mountain. How are you feeling? Tired. Ugh. Hard. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. If you did not carry the backpack, how hard would you say that hike was? Without the backpack? Without the backpack. Super easy. Super easy. Yeah. Okay. With the backpack, scale of one to ten, how hard was it? Seven. Seven. Okay. A lot harder. A lot harder with yes. the backpack. Okay. Um, go ahead and take it off real quick. We're going to put it right here in the middle. How much weight would you say is in this backpack here? A lot, probably like 50 pounds at least. You are very close, sir. It is 45 pounds with all of it in there. Um, did we talk about what this was exactly? No, I have no clue. I no, that's right. I just kind of walked up and, and strapped you in and like a gentleman, you just kind of put it on a walk. So this is my camera back. In theory, you brought this backpack up, why? Because it has all your camera equipment in it. Right? right. What would you say if I told you that we didn't need this bag at all for this, for this trip? That you just made my hike a lot harder for no reason. For no reason, right? So, can you guess what today's object lesson is about? How you should not bring stuff that makes things heavier when you don't need them. That's good, that's actually pretty close. <laughs> give, him, give him some credit, that's pretty close. But the whole point was, extra weight now we can we can open this up it is legit everything i told you yeah right okay there's no rocks in it 
it's all good stuff. But it's not stuff we needed for this hike to film. For me, it's probably going to have to be television and Netflix. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with television and Netflix. But if I'm not careful, the amount of time I spend doing that keeps me from being the Christian I'm supposed to be. It keeps me from going out witnessing, maybe reading my Bible as much as I should. Um, and it just... It's a weight in my life that isn't necessarily bad that I have. You know, it's okay. Sit down with your family, watch a TV show or whatever, but it can easily become an extra weight that I carry around with me. Anything in your life that you'd say, oh, yep, okay. If we're talking about weights, this is probably <laughs> something that's not necessarily bad, but yeah. if I'm not careful, it can become a weight. Probably video games is the number one thing. Video games, what, uh, what kind of game system do you play? Xbox One. Xbox. Okay, I'd say that's probably a common thing <laughs> yeah. for most teenagers. But I feel like you better than anybody else can explain now why the why it's so important to lay aside every weight. So in your mind, your words, when you hear that verse from now on, Hebrews 12, <laughs> 1, you think about laying aside weights, what does that mean for you? Um, it means taking away extra things in your life that aren't very important and keep you from having a better relationship with God. Yeah, that's right. And if I told you that I would be willing to carry this back down the mountain, um, how would that change your hiking experience for today? It would make it way better. Yeah, and the reality is if when we get rid of all that extra stuff in our life that's keeping us from serving God completely and fully, our life just has way more joy in it. Just like hiking up here, hiking back down, not carrying stuff that you don't need. So thank you so very much. And I, I am true to my word. I will carry this back down the mountain. <laughs> thank you. If you enjoyed what you saw, let us know by clicking the like and subscribe button below. It's your support that will help us keep making these videos in the future. To see more of BC Missions ministry, you can check out our YouTube channel. BC Mission Focus is all about promoting Christian ministries, resources, and opportunities for believers to grow in Christ and to expand the family. 